Uh oh. <laughs> Trouble afoot. U.S. issues worldwide travel alert for Americans. A travel alert which is to be in effect until February 24th. This is serious stuff. All this coming around now because of the Paris attacks and so forth. But out of Washington, Americans should be alert to the possible travel risks, especially during the holidays. Following increased terrorist threats around the world, the State Department warned on Monday. A travel alert effect until February 24th, said current information suggests that militants with the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram and other terrorist groups continue to plan attacks in multiple regions. U.S. authorities said the likelihood of terror attacks will continue as members of IS return from Syria and Iraq and other individuals not affiliated with terror groups engage in violence on their own. Extremists have targeted sporting events, theaters, open markets, blah, 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 blah. This is out of Breitbart, by the way. Quote, U.S. citizens should be uh, should exercise vigilance when in public places or using transportation. So, very interesting. Uh, of course, issued the same day that Belgium's prime minister announced that Brussels would remain at the highest alert level for at least another week. So that's all across the headlines this evening, this Monday evening. It's about 8 p.m. here on the Sit and Spin radio show, RockyD.com, where we do it on Monday evenings. Normally started at 7 o'clock. Uh, had a little trouble getting up and going, so 8 o'clock here. Uh, on RockyD.com, but of course you can always check out the archives and so forth. Spreaker Web Radio, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. Search for the Sit and Spin Radio Network. So, Pew hides one million plus new migrants into the United States. I mean, it's bad over there, but what's going to happen here when we have the same situation continue in our own country and we can't get it stopped? Of course, now Donald Trump's rattling off about the fact that we need to, you know, sign everybody up to a registry and so forth. I don't know, that seemed a little over the top, but uh, this report coming out of Breitbart as well. Neil Monroe, the Pew Research Center, is hiding the huge new wave of low-skilled Mexican and Central American migrants that have crossed into the United States since July 2014, reports Daniel Horowitz. At the conservative... 